Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Piyush and this video is video number 19th in the series AZ900 with Piyush. And in this particular video, we will be looking into cost management in Azure. So this is gonna be a short video. So make sure you watch the video till the end because we will be doing some knowledge checks at the end. And without any further ado, let's get into it. All right, let's start the video with cost management introduction. We have already seen capital expenditure and operating expenditure in the beginning of this series where capital expenditure is the upfront cost that you spend and operating expenditure is the recurring cost that you spend over a specific period of time. A number of factors influence the cost of the Azure resources. These factors such as the type of resource, the setting of the resource and the Azure region will have an impact on how much the resource gonna cost. Now let's take an example of a virtual machine. The cost of a virtual machine depends on the virtual machine size, the licensing, the storage, and the region in which VM is provisioned and few other factors. So this type of consumption model is called pay as you go, where you pay for the resources that you use during a billing cycle. If you use more compute this cycle, you pay more. And if you less in the current cycle, you pay less. Azure also provides a option for reserve capacity in which you can commit to use a certain number of resources for a specific period of time. Usually this period is one to three year and you receive huge discount on that commitment. For example, you said, okay, I need 50 virtual machines for the next three years with 80 GB boot disk and 12 virtual CPUs. So this type of model will be reserved model where you are deciding the cost in advance and you'll get a huge discount on the commitment. Let's have a look at uh, Azure Marketplace. Azure Marketplace lets you purchase Azure based solution and services from third party vendors using the Azure portal. So let's say you are a user and you subscribe to a Nginx machine image from the Azure Marketplace. This Nginx image is customized image provided by a third party vendor such as Bitnami or it could be anyone else. And they said, okay, uh, we'll give you Nginx plus on top of that, we'll give you, let's say Prometheus and Grafana pre-configured and you don't have to worry about any licensing cost or any other configuration setup, it is ready to use image and then you just go ahead, subscribe to the image and use it. And for that, uh, we will charge you a nominal fee, let's say $10 per month. This is just for an example. So you will have to pay that fee to the vendor as well as to the Azure for the resources that you are using. Like this Nginx image will be running on a virtual machine. So you'll be paying uh, the cost to Azure and to the third party vendor. And the cost of this uh, image will be decided by third party vendor. How much they're gonna charge you for that. Now let's have a look at another important topic, which is cost estimation in Azure. So we have a term called pricing calculator and total cost of ownership TCO. They both are used to estimate cost in Azure, but there is a slight difference between these two. So let's have a look at those differences. So pricing calculator provides you the cost estimation of provisioning Azure resources and total cost of ownership provide you cost comparison between your on-premises infrastructure and the equivalent services in Azure infrastructure. Let's say you have a two on-premises servers and two database servers running on premises. And it will provide you a cost of how much you're going to save or how much will be the cost you will be incurred when you provision two virtual machines and two database instances in Azure. So that cost comparison will be provided between on premises and the Azure infrastructure. You can save, export and share the estimates provided by pricing calculator. Before migrating to cloud, you can generate a report using TCO to see if there are any potential savings in moving to the cloud. And then you can download this report and share this report as well. So make sure you understand the difference between these two. Uh, cost management provides the ability to quickly check the Azure resource cost. 
create alerts based on the resource spends and create budgets which will also trigger an alert when the budget threshold has been breached. So it also provides cost analysis and you can review your spendings based on service, location, subscription and so on. Right, so like always take the screenshot of this page and try to solve these answers and let me know in the comment section if you face any issues answering these questions or if you try to share your answer with the community then also please try to comment. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope this video was somewhat valuable and you have learned something out of it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing the channel if you are new here. And I will see you soon with the next video. Thank you so much for watching.